early amputations, we did not have a good way to stop the blood. Your earlier tourniquets just did not do a sufficient job, so your patients would typically bleed to death even with the use of pressure points. But by the time of Fort Loudon, the screw-in tourniquet takes care of that problem. It gets better pressure. We can amputate higher, more successfully. To go through the flesh and to the bone, but not through the bone with this capital knife. And once that's done, I'd choose one of my separators. If it's the upper arm or upper leg with one bone, I'd use the one with one hole. The lower with two bones, use the one with two holes. The next thing I'd do is, is saw through the bone. Uh, for smaller bones, I can use the metacarpal saw. Larger bones, I'll use the capital saw. I will instead use my tenaculum. Those arteries draw back in a bit when they're cut. So this allows me to go into the stump, hook in the arteries, pulling them out just ever so slightly. And down here, I'd have loops of horsehair. They're already tied in knots. They're just not tightened down. And I'll slide this off of the shaft and onto the artery, tightening down to stop the blood flow. Cauterizing iron and use this to seal off the veins. 